Welcome to the Forever Cash Life Real Estate Investing Podcast with your hosts, Jack and Michelle Bosch. Together, let's uncover the secrets to building true wealth through real estate and living a purpose-driven life. Welcome to the Forever Cash Podcast. I'm your host, Michelle Bosch. Excited to come to you guys today and talk about uh, certain shifts that I see happening right now that we've all noticed across society, uh, not just here in the U.S., but the world with the new habits that the pandemic has um, created, you know, uh, among societies. Um, you know, the last 18 months or 19 months have served as an opportunity for people to really eva- reevaluate, you know, their life and what they're doing and where they're going and the things that they really do care about and would love to see um, happen in their lives, experience on a daily basis. And, and it's basically given the, the chance for people to see that, you know, this punching the time clock for someone else on a nine to five, working for possibly a shitty boss, you know, uh, with a nasty commute, um, and doing work that doesn't bring them meaning or purpose or that doesn't help them advance in any way, that that's no longer a, um, a, a valid path or trajectory to follow in life. And so people are much more aware of the things that bother them when it comes to, you know, having freedom. And when I talk about freedom, I'm talking about the freedom of money, freedom of time freedom of relationships and freedom of purpose. And so um, if you think about it, you know, botherations, things that bother you are the raw material um, that really um, allow you to grow. They're the raw material that are the catalyst for you to grow in a different direction. And that's basically what, you know, I think the entire world has woken up to, you know, over the last year and a half or so um, is, is really this evaluation that, you know, that I'm bothered by, by, by what, what I'm, what I have created so far, you know, and it's things that I have done in the past that have brought me to my present. And that if we want to live a different future, that this present today requires different decisions, different things, um, you know, to do. A lot of people are basically leaving their nine to fives and they're deciding that they want to start a business of some sort, you know, um, that they want to start investing. They want to basically go and test the waters uh, in the entrepreneurial world. And for that reason, I think it is important for if you are such a person that is considering that you have to think about um There's four pillars of business that are super, super important uh, for you to understand before you endeavor and before you decide that you want to go down any path. And and the very first pillar of a business, you know, that uh, really rests upon the founder of the business and uh, are so crucial, in my opinion, for that business to actually succeed, because I don't know if you know this, but about 80% of all small businesses that start fail in the startup phase, because I believe this is something that nobody talks about, but that is so crucial and so important. And it's understanding the why of the founder of the business owner that starts that company, you know, that is kind of like the engine of, of, uh, of why you're going to go out there and into this path. And it could be that Part of your why is incredible, deep discontent with your life right now, with your work right now. Um, and um, in, in, in another, you know, possibility for going down this different trajectory and this, this different path is, is pleasure. You want to experience new things. You want to travel the world. You want to travel the U.S. You want to, um, you know, uh, focus on memories, uh, not things. Or perhaps you do want to, you know, um, a bigger lifestyle and a bigger income and a bigger future. And so that why is is so important. It really uh, serves as a North Star for you so that when you decide, okay, I have found my what, which is the strategy that you're going to use to actually, you know, create freedom of money, time, relationships on purpose, um, that 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 you stay grounded, you know, in, in, in that why, when the obstacles, when the challenges show up. So that's pillar number one is the why. Um, pillar number two 
is the what. You know, you want to be looking and evaluating, uh, you know, what skill sets do you have and what are things that are you're passionate about? What are things that could give you the quick cash injections that you need in order to either replace the job that you just left or that you're looking to leave? Um, and that can bring that to you in the most simple way. I'm always about how can I simplify, you know, to multiply my results and how can I, um, and, and it's not that I shy away from hard work, but it's, it's it allows you to really focus your energy down into one path, you know, one strategy that has the biggest potential um, to really create and see results and, and ripples, positive ripples, you know, um, in your income right away. Um, it's, it's almost like a, a way of identifying opportunities out there where you're going to be like, okay, which of these opportunities that are out there, whether that be, you know, uh, I don't know, starting a, uh, a franchise or, uh, going out there and doing freelance work, depending on you know what your skill set is, or consulting, or maybe it's investing in real estate and going from an entrepreneurial standpoint, becoming an active investor. You know that's the case. Um, you you want to evaluate those opportunities and look at them. Okay, which of these are, is the simplest one, and is is the one that is going to bring me the highest uh, you know returns or the highest results in the shortest period of time so that I can get momentum and get things in motion really quickly um, so that I can eventually, you know, start investing because every business owner should invest in, um, you know, whose people, mentors, uh, strategy, uh, and should invest in technology and in team to come and help them you know, continue to develop that business, but you cannot even invest in that if you don't have quick, you know, cash injections and results to begin with. So it's a matter of evaluating opportunities out there, you know, when it comes to an entrepreneurial venture or journey of what is a, the simplest one that can give me the fastest results, um, you know, with the largest cash injections, at least that's how I go about, you know, evaluating uh, one in the be in the beginning. And if there's one that is worth pursuing that I'm deeply passionate about, it's not like I completely discard it, but I leave it in a parking lot to continue doing research or to hire someone that can come and help me develop that, you know, and bring it forward um, in parallel while my focus is really someplace else. Because the whole point here is your focus doesn't want to uh, shouldn't be diverted, especially at the beginning when you're starting a business. If your focus is, the, is diverted and you have a bunch of distractions, what's going to happen is more than likely uh, if you have two or three little companies that you're trying to grow, all three are going to fail and stumble at that startup phase. So you want to, you want to focus your energies. So, so that's, so that's the what, you know, that's how I would go about evaluating what's out there. And if you already found yourself a superior strategy that can give you 10x results um, and that can really allow you to scale, because at the end of the day, scale is what allows you to have the opportunity of practice and repetition, especially if you're a new and beginning investor or entrepreneur, you know, you want to have the practice of creating a lead, qualifying that lead you know, closing that lead. And then, you know, on the purchasing side, because more than likely you're buying something. Yeah. And then reselling it to someone else. Or if it's you, your own services as, I don't know, as a, as a teacher, as a piano teacher, as a, um, a meditation expert or whatever it might be, you know, whatever type of uh, entrepreneurial venture that you decide that you want to go in. I mean, you're going to have to master uh, lead generation marketing, you're going to have to master sales, you're going to have to actually fulfill on your service and delivery and deliver the, you know, the results that you promise, or if it's going to be, you know, from an investment standpoint, you're going to have to find the inventory, the lead that is going to sell the property to you at a lower amount, uh, you're going to have to figure out, you know, the team and the process in place to close on that deal or put it under contract, find a buyer close on that deal as well, you know, or double close and actually make money and get cash in the bank, <clears throat> excuse me, in the shortest period of time. So that's the second pillar is a what. The, the third pillar is, in my opinion, one of the most crucial pillars that people forget about, and that is the who. And when I'm talking about the who is, um, is not just who is coming along with you. 
That is true. You know, it could be in the form of mentors, in the form of new peers that are coming along with you, or what environments of new peers are you going to put yourself in deliberately so that you can grow to the level of business that you're looking to grow in whatever it is that you're looking uh, to start. Say it's land flipping, land investing. You know, can you put, can you find yourself a community of, of land flippers that are already doing, you know, uh, multiple six figures or are already doing even seven figures um, that are going to allow you to collapse time by mentoring you and by sharing with you every single resource, every single tactic and nuance and change because the business and in, in, in the marketplace in general are constantly changing and evolving. Yeah. And the things that worked, you know, two years ago no longer work today. So you want to be in an environment where people are ahead of you in the trenches, making the and having the results that you want, and uh, that are sharing with you that have that value of chasing excellence, number one, and of being transformational to others, of being transparent with others, and sharing with you what they're doing, you know, to basically uh, get yourself to the next level. So that that who is so 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 important, and um, and and the who that's. In reference right now, so far that I've discussed, in reference to the outside world. But the most important who, and let's not forget that, the most important who here uh, when starting a business, uh, whether it be a land flipping business or whatever business it is, it's really you. You, again, are the engine of that business. And um, and it requires that you also uh, create this mental shift from being just a a passive, you know, participant or a person that gets driven just for a few days or a few weeks by shiny pennies and that has entrepreneurial ADD and that cannot make up their mind on what they want to focus on. It requires that there is a mental shift in you as well to not just go from somebody that is tasting like a butterfly, you know, all kinds of different flowers or what is it? The hummingbird actually uh, tasting all kinds of different flowers but actually decide on what is the one thing that is best for you right now in the circumstances that you're in right now that is the simplest, that can give you the biggest bang for your buck. And um, and, and, and so, and so it'll require that you see yourself and make a shift from being a person that is just constantly looking out to the next thing and the next thing to somebody that focuses and that sees themselves as a leader in that one thing that is willing to strive to become the best at that one thing that has the discipline to stay focused until you have mastered that one thing versus trying to be the jack of all trades and then being master of absolutely nothing. Yeah. That's not, you know, when you see people like Jeff Bezos, you know, the, you know, the founder of Amazon, he had the discipline, even though he saw the potential in so many other ways in which Amazon can, could grow for the first seven years of his business, he focused exclusively on selling books, even though he knew the potential of Amazon, which we see it today to this day, and it'll only continue to expand. But for those first seven critical years, he was willing to focus, to have the discipline to basically uh, validate that business and really bring it forward so that that scale, that level of scale and cash injections um, that he was getting from that discipline of focusing on that one thing could serve uh, him for future growth, for future technological investments, for future investments in people and more who's, uh, in partnerships, in expansion of his tech, you know, of his marketplace, uh, of relationships, of partnerships, etc. So, but at the beginning, he focused on on one thing. So it requires that you see yourself as instead of being a jack of all trades, a master of one thing. And in in order to become a master, you need to see yourself as a leader, as with a new identity, with a new, um, yeah, with a new identity, with a new, um, with a new, with a, with a reinvention, you reinventing your identity um, in, in, in declaring that you are, whether it's six or seven figures, a six or seven figure entrepreneur in whatever space it is, you know, or land flipper, land flipping is a, is the, is a thing. Yeah. For you. So that's uh, pillar number three. And then pillar four is 
the how, how are you going to get there? You know, are there others in, ahead of you that already have the, the templates, the, the, the scripts that already have the processes, the systems in place so that you can just plug in versus having to do that from scratch yourself um, and, and waste basically countless number of money and time on, on things that people are already doing out there and they're doing in at an amazing level where you can just basically plug in. So that's one, one aspect of, of the how, but also another aspect of the how is how are you going to structure your success? You know, there's four stages of just like we're discussing the four pillars of a business, there's four stages of growth in a business. And the first one is startup. The, sex, the second one is build up. The third one is build out and then comes mastery. Yeah. So how are you going to structure your rhythm of success? Are you going to focus on the first, you know, uh, 90 days on mastering the startup phase um, and getting that, you know, that business to actually revenue generating and actual cash in the bank. You know, that should be the focus of every entrepreneur that starts a new business, depending, of course, on the type of business, but at least in the land flipping business, a 90-day horizon and time frame is absolutely reasonable. And we see it countless times and times again being done by our students, where in the first 90 days, they had figured out the cash part with you know, the first set of deals. Yeah. And, um, and those first set of deals and that cash is being reinvested into the company so that you can move on to the next phase, which is actually build up. And that is basically you ramping up your volume and scaling and sending out more mailings or bringing a VA, um, or you could, you know, bring the VA in the next 90 days, which is, the uh, what we like to call the you know the build up uh, build out uh, phase where you're not just doing this yourself but you're now bringing in team and you have processes in place and and you have access to people that have already those systems and those processes in place so that you can bring team with ease you know so that that have the formula on how to delegate uh, tasks so that you actually you know, meet um, your goals for that quarter or for the next six months or for the year. Yeah. So, so that's, that's the how, and that's pretty much the, the, the fourth pillar. Um, and it all started with us talking about how botherations, you know, and things that are bothering us right now in our life could be the triggers and the raw material to perhaps, you know, start a new entrepreneurial venture. And if you did start a new entrepreneurial venture, now you have the tools or you have, you have a better understanding of the four pillars uh, that you're going to have to um, really consider and, and, and work on to start your new business. Yeah. So in those four pillars were the why, the what, the who and the how. So I hope uh, this was of service to you. If you're ready to jump in into the how, if you have found your who's and the community of people that are looking to really elevate you and engineer your next level of success, I congratulate you. If you're in the land flipping world and you know that land flipping is the way to go for you, um, you know we would love to partner with you and link arms with you and help you, of course, be part of your who's of those people that come along with with you and um, and help you get to that next level, uh, you know, teaching you all the hows, all the tactics, all the strategies from people that are actually in the trenches doing the work, you know, eating their own cooking and knowing what is working right now, what the latest and greatest is working so that, you know, so that your, your what, whatever that what was and your why, you know, uh, the what being the vision that you want for, for your life, for the future, and the why being why you're doing it, which for most of us, it's family. It's the ability to um, really uh, provide for our families in a way that um, that they deserve, that we know that, you know, that we deserve, uh, not just in lifestyle, but in experiences, in ability to contribute to, you know, to the transformation of others. And, and if that's you, I would love to invite you to come and join us into our land profit, land profit master's coaching program. We're actually open. Uh, our doors to the land profit master uh, coaching program are open. We have uh, several few spots still that we're trying to, you know, fill in for this year. And once uh, we close the doors in a couple of days, then we pretty much 
uh, go ahead and put all our focus in onboarding our incoming class and getting that next class to success. If you would like to talk to us and apply and see whether you are a fit for us as well, because we're only looking for business athletes, for people that see themselves as leaders, that want to be trailblazers in their families, and that want to be pioneers, they want to be, that are willing to go first. Uh, become the first ones that, you know, become millionaires in their families. We have a track history of success of creating and, you know, making millionaires. And uh, we would love to help you. You can go to landcoaching.com, landcoaching.com and book a call and apply and talk to one of our land experts there that can, uh, you know, together with you uh, really decide on whether we're a good fit for each other. And uh, if we are ready to embark on this new journey together of, you know, uh, the four pillars of business of uh, building up a foundation that is um, unshakable and that can allow you explosive growth so that you can become unstoppable in that vision that you have for you and your family and the goals that you want to accomplish in 2022. Thank you so much. And until the next one, bye-bye.